हेलो एवन वेलकम टू पार्ट हंड्रेड सेवेंटी वन ऑफ एडवांस ई कॉम सीरीज इन ला रवल एट सो वी विल कंटिन्यू वर्किंग ऑन दी पेंडिंग पॉइंट्स एंड सी दिस पॉइंट वी हैव डन इन लास्ट वीडियो वी व्यू रजिस्टर्ड यूजर्स इन एडमी पैनल सो आई विल मूव दिस पॉइंट टू दी डन पॉइंट्स ओके सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज ग्रुप कोड फंक्शनैलिटी टू मैनेज मल्टीपल कलर प्रोडक्ट सो दिस पॉइंट आई हैव एड रिसेंटली वन ऑफ माई फ्रेंड आस्क मी टू एड एंड दिस इज रियली गुड पॉइंट so i have added this one uh, see here i am going to show you that what is this point okay so see if we will open any product like uh, you can see there are two products here blue uh, casual t-shirt and red casual t-shirt the only difference is about color okay so if we will open one product that we want that the another product can also be seen by the user we can able to show the another product uh, to the user another color to the user of that product okay so basically we want to show the another color to the user so that the user able to decide that which color of product he wants because the price and everything else remains the same so we can do one thing here like a user like the admin can add both the products separately for the seo purpose because uh, he wants to make the different pages for both the products like most of the website used to do amazon also used to do like this okay but one thing uh, amazon do or any other website do that they will show the products other products also the link of other products that is associated with that that is uh, associated uh, like these two products are associated with each other so this is a kind of the group okay so we are going to work uh, for this group well, we are going to make the groups in with the admin panel okay so we will give one group code for both these products that are associated with each other so that group code is similar okay group code is same like group code of this blue casual t-shirt is 100 then the group code for this red casual, uh, casual t-shirt is also 100 so both uh, group code is same both is 100 so we can able to show like if we will open blue um, casual t-shirt then here we able to show the red um, casual t-shirt anywhere see at the top also uh, so if we will open red um, casual t-shirt then we able to show the blue casual t-shirt as well so this is the thing that we are going to do we are going to asset products we are going to make the group of the products so that we can show the other products as well other similar products as well other similar products with the with the other colors okay so that thing we are going to do so first of all we are going to work on the admin panel we are going to add one field here in add edit product form we will add that group code field here somewhere now we can add after product color we can add here or we can add it down okay so that our layout will not uh, get disturbed so we can add the group code here as well okay so let's open uh, i'm going to close all our previous files so i'm going to open here add edit product blade file this is the file so here now uh, we can make changes here group code we can add somewhere at the last here after this one we can add uh, okay so let's see where to add Uh, so before that we are going to add here here i'm going to make it group code this is the test area okay no 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 we will copy some other field like uh, product name see here group code has been added but uh, the format is not that much correct so we can move the meta keywords here in meta uh, so we can 
remove this one here and now the feature items is left uh, so that is fine but feature items we can move further up so for that uh, we can move feature items after my title here and we can move this one now we can check once now it seems to be fine okay so now we can able to add the group code but before that we will open products controller we will update one added product function and in admin add edit product at this function we are going to update this function uh, okay so let's update see we will add the group code uh, group code see group code uh, we have not added so far so see we need to add the group code in our products table as well see there is no group code field okay so we need to add the group code see we can add group code anywhere uh, wherever you want we can add after product underscore video okay product video also we uh, still left to show at front end that also we are going to do very soon okay so we can add anywhere we want okay so let's add group code or we can add after product color as well because it is asset with product color group code. we can make it back at 255 save now we will add the group code here as well okay so now we are going to check we able to add the group code or not we are going to uh, add the group code for these two uh, colors let's add 100 for both 100 submit first check once that 100 is updated yes 100 is updated okay so we are going to update 100 for the another one as well so both will be shown and also one more we are going to add so that it will be uh, so that we can able to test it properly so add 100 for three products we have added the group code so all these three products will be shown together as a group okay so that the customer can able to uh, choose from all these color okay so we are going to show in product detail page so we are going to modify now uh, products controller we are going to update at front detail page we are going to modify and here we will make one uh, group products okay array group products array we are going to make so let's see so first of all we are going to uh, have one empty array okay group products Array. so in case if there is no group products even then this it will pick this empty array okay so it's always a better practice to declare as a empty array okay so now uh, group products array so now if the uh, if the current if the current product is having the group code only then we are going to have this uh, or only then we are going to uh, uh fetch the other group group codes okay from the products otherwise there is no uh way there is uh, no, uh, we are not required to find the group code okay suppose uh, this particular product is having group code 100 so only then we are going to find the other products that is having group code 100 if this product is having no group code at all so it means it does not have any any uh, any more colors okay so it does not have any associated products okay so we will add one condition here if the current product is having group code okay so that is the condition uh, like uh, this uh, dollar where we are this one okay so if not empty if the current product uh, group code is not empty only then 
we are going to continue with fetching of the other products from the group code okay if the group code is not empty for the uh, current product okay then only we are going to continue we are going to find group codes group products we are going to find okay group products all the group products we are going to find see we will find all the all the group products but not the current one because the current one is already uh, the customer has opened so the uh, so the current one we are not going to uh, 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 select the current one see we are going to select two things here id as well as the main image these two things are required id as well as the main image okay so we are going to select these two things and see where uh, id is not equal to the current id of the product first of all we are going to add this condition that it must not match with the current id otherwise current I current product also will be shown in the group products okay so that we don't want and now the main condition is uh, where a group code group code of the current product must be matched with the other group code okay of the products so this one we are going to pick the current uh, group code product details here we are going to match that and find the other products and also one more thing status of the product must always be one okay so status must be one otherwise it will pick the disabled products so here we can take it like this get then sorry two array we are also two, two array. so now uh, we can check once let's check is okay first we are going to debug and find that whether the group uh, products are coming or not so let's see see other two group products are coming along uh, along with id and image okay so it's working fine so we can open this one separately in one more window like this one fine now we are going to uh, update in our detail blade file here we are going to show the group products somewhere wherever we want okay so let's uh, comment first of all this one now uh, see we are going to show group uh, products after this one i think and uh, okay so search here after this one here okay so uh, uh, yeah so first of all we are going to check whether the group codes are coming if the group codes are coming then we are going to going to continue with the for each loop first of all we are going to found the group products array if the array is greater than uh, zero uh, then we are going to have that we are going to add one div here okay so uh, first of all we are going to show here something like uh, more colors Okay, so now after that we will take one more div here. So inside this one we are going to add for each loop. We are having that group products array. So here uh, we are going to show first of all only show the image after that we will add the link as well and here we are going to images 
log then dot. so that main image that uh, we have uh, selected in query so let's check once we will add here the style also give small width otherwise it will be too big like 50 pixel now check here see these are more colors okay so we can add here spacing is required give one break here also okay so here also one uh, little bit spacing is required you can add this in css now it seems to be fine see these are the two colors uh, that the user can able to select as well okay so we are going to send the user to another link okay so see this one we are going to uh, send the user to the another link here see this is the simplest and uh, user friendly way of selecting other of showing other colors to the user so that you if a user is interested in another color you can a user can able to uh, see those okay so we are having the uh, that id as well okay so now we can check once see if the user will select red color uh, then it will go to the red color page user can able to add this red color in his card okay blue purple okay so like if we will select purple then blue and red will come you will select blue then red and purple will come okay so only those color will come uh, that are uh, uh, that are the others um, uh, that are associated with that uh, particular product that the user open okay so in this way you can show other colors to the user and if the user is interested in other color then he can able to buy that as well okay so this one you can add at your end and if you will find any trouble you can surely contact me so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye